Poland ready to host U.S. nuclear weapons on Putin's doorstep? Russia threatens a tough response. Polish President Andrzej Duda asserted Warsaw's readiness to accept the deployment of nuclear weapons on its territory if NATO decides to do so. This announcement comes amid escalating tensions fueled by Russia's military buildup in Belarus and Kaliningrad. If there were a decision by our allies to deploy nuclear weapons within the nuclear sharing also on our territory in order to strengthen the security of NATO's eastern flank, we are ready, Duda said. Russia is increasingly militarizing the Kaliningrad enclave. It is the process of transferring its nuclear weapons to Belarus. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, President Vladimir Putin has made veiled nuclear threats toward the West, even stashing atomic weapons in Belarus, which borders NATO members Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. Duda said nuclear sharing has been the subject of talks between Poland and the US for some time. I've already talked about it several times. I must admit that when asked about it, I declared our readiness, he said. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov responded that Russia will take all necessary retaliatory steps to guarantee our security. Russia will take into account potential deployment of U.S. nuclear weapons in Poland in its military planning, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said. It looks like Warsaw is deliberately seeking to attract more attention from those dealing with military planning in the Russian general staff. It would be logical to assume that once nuclear weapons appear in Poland, relevant facilities will be immediately put on the list of legitimate targets in case of a direct armed confrontation with NATO, she said. She slammed Duda's statement as provocative. Poland's authorities make no secret of their striving to lean closer on the U.S. nuclear weapons deployed in Europe and are actively using these ambitions in their hostile Russian policy, Zakharova said. This has us looking more closely at Poland in our military planning, taking into account threats to Russia that are generated with the participation of this country. According to the Russian diplomat, Moscow and Minsk take into consideration the Polish factor when taking additional measures to bolster the security of their union state. Ukraine will shoot down more Russian ships. Production of Neptune missiles increased 10 times. Neptune has become Ukraine's favorite missile to destroy the Russian Black Sea fleet. More and more of these missiles are coming off the production line. As stated in the Forbes article, the meeting of the Neptune with many Russian ships ended fatally for the enemy fleet. The last victim of the Ukrainian missile was the unique ship, Komuna. Komuna was hit by Neptune. The attack occurred while the ship was anchored by the Russian Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol. The basic Neptune was only a prototype at the start of the Russian invasion in February 2022. The first operational Neptune battery, which includes six truck-mounted quad launchers, as well as a command vehicle and 48 missile reloading systems, made its first launch in April 2022, sinking the Black Sea Fleet flagship Moskva. By sinking the Moskva, the Ukrainians proved that the Neptune with its rocket booster, turbofan engine, radar homing system and powerful warhead could work. A 5-meter rocket body contained enough fuel for a flight of 190 kilometers. This was enough to target the Moskva as the cruiser's crew brazenly sailed just 96 kilometers from the Ukrainian coast. And as Russian warships retreated further from the coast as a result of the Moskva's sinking, they became much more difficult targets. It became impossible for the Neptune crews to hit their main anchor points, Sevastopol and Feodosia in Crimea, Novorossiysk in southern Russia. Sevastopol, at a distance of 250 kilometers, is the closest to Ukrainian lines. Therefore, the Kiev Design Bureau Luch took on the production of the Long Neptune. This long rocket has enough fuel to fly 320 kilometers. At the same time, Luch modified the missile's seeker so that it could better hit targets on land and sea. Long Neptune first struck in August, damaging a Russian Air Force S-400 air defense battery in Crimea. And in a major attack last month, it targeted four Russian ships in Sevastopol, as well as port facilities and oil depots. But there will be more attacks, as the war is still ongoing. Ukrainian officials have told US officials that they have increased Neptune production tenfold, meaning strike planners in Kyiv could soon have dozens, perhaps hundreds, of missiles at their disposal.
If just a few dozen Neptunes could sink a cruiser and damage several other ships, as well as air defense and support equipment, imagine what a hundred Neptunes could do, the publication writes.